స్కిల్ డెవలప్మెంట్ ప్రాజెక్టును గతంలో మెచ్చుకున్న ఏపీ ఎస్ఎస్డీసీనే ఇప్పుడు బోగస్ అని ఆరోపణలు చేయటం ఆశ్చర్యానికి గురి చేసిందని సిమెంట్ సంస్థ మాజీ ఎండి సుమన్ బోస్ అన్నారు స్కిల్ డెవలప్మెంట్ ప్రాజెక్టు వివరాలను ఆయన ఢిల్లీ నుంచి వివరించారు బిల్డ్ ఆపరేట్ ట్రాన్స్ఫర్ పద్దతిలో ఈ ప్రాజెక్టు నడిచిందన్న ఆయన రెండు వేల ఇరవై ఒకటిలో ప్రాజెక్టును ప్రభుత్వానికి అప్పగించేశామని వెల్లడించారు రెండు వేల ఇరవై ఒకటి తర్వాత అనూహ్య పరిణామాలు చోటు చేసుకున్నాయన్నారు ఒక్క శిక్షణా కేంద్రాన్ని కూడా సందర్శించకుండానే అక్రమాలు జరిగాయని ఆరోపించారంటున్న సుమన్ బోస్ తో మా ప్రతినిధి అరుణ్ ముఖాముఖి డెవలప్మెంట్ స్కామ్ లో అనేక పరిణామాలు చోటు చేసుకుంటున్న నేపథ్యంలో ఈ రోజు మీడియా ముందుకు గతంలో సిమెన్స్ కంపెనీ ఎండిగా చేసినటువంటి సుమన్ బోసు మీడియా ముందుకు వచ్చారు ఆయన అనేక విషయాలు ఈ రోజు వెల్లడిస్తున్నారు ఆయన నుంచి మరిన్ని విషయాలు తెలుసుకుందాం మిస్టర్ బోస్ యువర్ ది దన్ ఎండి డ్యూరింగ్ దిస్ ప్రాజెక్ట్ ది స్కిల్ డెవలప్మెంట్ ప్రాజెక్ట్ విచ్ వాజ్ ఇంప్లిమెంటెడ్ ప్రజెంట్ ఇంప్లిమెంటింగ్ ఇన్ ఆంధ్రప్రదేశ్ వాట్ వాజ్ హ్యాపెండ్ ఇన్ దట్ పర్టికులర్ ప్రాజెక్ట్ ఈజ్ ద ట్రైపార్టి అగ్రిమెంట్ ఈజ్ దేర్ బిట్వీన్ గవర్నమెంట్ అండ్ యూ యువర్ కంపెనీస్ ఆఫ్ కోర్స్ Uh, there was a uh, tripartite agreement before that there were a lot of uh, to and fro work uh, research that happened based on the vision of the government of the industrial government it was a new state in 2014 as you know so the industrial policy was just out so there was a lot of deliberation on that and then there was a research to find out what needs to be trained based on which proposals were given they were debated the final proposal and based on the final proposal and mou was drafted which was uh, uh, accepted by global siemens legal as well as the government of ap legal and based on which the mou was signed uh, so there was a uh, proposal there was an mou etc uh, then there was an undertaking that was signed with design tech on the valuation there was a third party valuation that was done by central institute of tool design a government of india organization the project was ex- executed over 40 locations initially it was supposed to be 36 it was changed to 40 without any additional payment so uh, and then uh, the project was run for it was supposed to be done for 2 plus 1 that means 2 years uh, the operation gets done by design tech and the faculties and then they uh, uh, hand it over and then they kind of supervise but instead they themselves ran it uh, for about over 4 years and in 2021 beginning the handover process started uh, individually each of the 40 centers were handed over with uh, booklets with the stock register every nuts and bolts on the stock register when signed co-signed by uh, APSSDC official and uh, co-signed by uh, the 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 principal of the college and uh, there are videos of those projects of those labs etc uh, in uh, there was a KPMG state of india report in which this was uh, in considered to be one of the most successfully executed project uh, there are 2 lakh 13000 students who have been trained out of this so this is fact this is as fact as you and i standing and talking yeah, together yeah. The, the government of in government of andhra pradesh has released 371 crores the what is the uh, siemens role in that particular 3 371 crores and who are the involved in the uh, entire agreement which are the companies the, the, the in the during the agreement time what are the companies involved in that what is their their role the siemens role and uh, other companies role so there was a tripartite agreement apssdc was the holder of the government mandate uh, siemens was the the technology partner uh, the, the overall uh, outcome based on the required outcome the technologies that went into it the design of that uh, development of that was all done by siemens siemens stood in uh, to ensure that uh, the 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 governance on the setup happens and the running of the centers happen in fact the certificates still today i believe till till 2022 the certificates when it was last issued are maybe still getting issued uh, you had siemens logo on the certificate right so it's it's siemens has put its name into the certificate to say it is certified to our standards and uh, design tech was the system integrator and the implementation partner who's implemented the uh, actually the on the ground implementation and then design tech employed uh, a lot of companies no subcontracting they were all vendors there were l- multiples of vendors of design tech it was such a large project you have to do it you can you have to bring in vendors to do it there were suppliers there were vendors there were service providers etc who delivered the project see one thing here the, the uh, andhra pradesh government uh, cid department is investigating this case mm-hmm. from 2021 onwards uh, till today uh, the cid is investigating the case there was a scam there was a bogus bills and there was a shell companies uh, and uh, many many allegations are raising by cid what do you want to say you you said it allegations uh, i mean i i can only talk about proof uh, whatever i have said it's out over there it's for everyone to see there there documentary proof there physical proof 
uh, for them uh, by just by calling somebody a shell company, by just by calling me dead, I'm not dead, right? I'm standing in front of you and talking. If he just says that I'm dead, I'm, that doesn't make me dead. So uh, people should talk with proof, and, and I think the, the, the proof is finally with the courts, and the courts will decide. What is the, uh, the see, in the uh, agreement, Siemens is going to uh, put some investments or uh, some grant in aid. Now, what is the cost of that one, particular? It's, it's all, all out over there. 90% of 90% was given by Siemens and all the uh, involved partners in terms of grant and kind, which was administered as a discount because that's the only way, uh, commercially available way of giving grant and kind. So it was commercially it was uh, given in those discounts, and the balance 10% uh, money with the state government came into. Uh, so there was a valuation. There was a overall scope of the project. There was a value. There's what the government paid. In between, the, the gap between the valuation and the, what government paid, the price, is the grant in kind. And that is what CITD looked into and said whether this valuation is correct. Because this money was already decided, right? So the, the valuation of this project is whatever we had said. That's what CITD uh, report talks about. But there is a between uh, uh, some gap and uh, some, some words and some, some technical uh, issues are there. Uh, what are the mentioned in the GO and the agreement is completely different. The CID is saying that. First of all, I don't know of the GEO. As a private party, I was never purview to the GEO. Uh, I was purview to only the, the discussions and the uh, uh, messages and the emails and the documents that flew between the, our, our organizations. It was always grant in kind. It was even the other states also, it's all grant in kind. Uh, there's never a physical uh, flow of money because uh, that's not how Siemens does this project. Or no, no company, no global company does this project. They always give it as, uh, and this is a standard practice. You can, you can search, by, not by just Siemens name, and all, all other companies' names. Standard practice, pra practice across the world, right? So, uh, so I can't comment about the Joe. But I can say that from our side, it was always clear it was grant in kind. It has been clear with other states, and so was with AP, and it was always grant in kind. And that's, that's what the proposal also says, it was grant in kind. Is it from Gujarat onwards, Gujarat to Andhra Pradesh? I think Andhra Pradesh is the last no, state. No, 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 no. After, there were multiple other states. Okay. So from Gujarat to Andhra Pradesh, how many states you are implementing this project? And these projects are approved by your headquarters, yes, the sir. Siemens Global, is it right? Of course. Of course, in, in, in no multinational company, including Siemens, a company of such a long reputation, would uh, an individual can take such a, such a decision, especially when Siemens is also booking revenues. Siemens is also booking revenues. Some of the part of the money, the order is also flowing into Siemens, and a substantial amount of money is flowing into Siemens. Even one rupee of, if somebody gives a one rupee order to Siemens, there is a process of booking that as a revenue. As you in, in, in CID, in CI, CID is saying that Siemens India and Siemens Global is saying that Bose has not taken any approvals from the headquarters or the global, uh, from the top officials. Sir, that, is, that, that was, that, that, so that, that was, that was in, in the Siemens India's report. Uh, well, I don't think so, that, uh, because I, uh, whatever, whatever report I have at least been publicly made available, I have read that report. Uh, yes, there are a lot of uh, bold allegations and which will, because the matter is sub judice, I can't comment over here, and we will, I have enough evidence to prove it in the court. But uh, as far as uh, Siemens not knowing about it, knowing about it, not knowing about it, I mean, look at the Siemens, uh, go to the Siemens site and look at the Siemens press releases. You know, even when Andhra Pradesh, for example, has happened, so many press releases came out, third party press releases, newspaper reports, et cetera, et cetera, came out. In a company like Siemens, uh, if, if it was a wrong, press report, wrong press release, and you're from the media, you're from the press, do you think that Siemens wouldn't have protested? That, hey, you know, we don't even know about this, what is this press release about, what is this grant about, we didn't do anything about it. It would have said, right? Have you ever heard Siemens saying, have you ever heard APSSTC saying any time during the implementation of the project that this is missing, this needs to be done, uh, there is a complaint? Not a single complaint during the running of the project, not a single unresolved issue project which is finally handed over with a letter of commendation. And then on the other hand, you are going and saying, oh, this is a sham project. This behoves. You implemented many states, this project, the skill development project. Uh, you established many centers. Why you're facing allegations or uh, uh, these are all things from Andhra Pradesh only? Sir, I'm a, I, I think you, are, you as the fourth pillar of democracy, you are in the best position to go and ask this question. Yeah, uh, as far as I'm concerned, and on behalf of, I'm standing on behalf of my ex-colleagues, and my partners, whose lives have been upturned 
with the allegations. I, I can say because some, I know a lot of them how their lives have become since the allegation. I know how my life has become since the allegation. Uh, we have done a tremendous job. And that is what the letter of commendation from APSCC in 2021 says. Tremendous job done. Great job done. So even uh, during the investigation time, uh, CID saying uh, during uh, Chandra Babu uh, uh, remand time, uh, CID in the court on record saying that uh, there were allega there were uh, 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 liabilities are there, there were mistakes are there. Uh, the Siemens and every person has uh, did all these things. Uh, ED and other departments, IT department was arrested. Uh, some officials of the Siemens also. What you made on this comment? No, I think if your question is uh, that there are uh, defects, defaults, etc., uh, they must they must show. I mean, there is a process, there is a resolution process. Most importantly, this project, this contract, had an arbitration clause, right? If there was issue, any country in the world would have first gone and done an arbitration. Forget arbitration. Show me a single email or a letter written to anyone in the ecosystem, either to Siemens or to even post my time. It doesn't have to be in 2000 till 2018, post my time, that this project, this is not working, please come in and rectify this, or you, we have been following up and you have not rectified it. Not a single allegation, not a single uh, you know, problem uh, was, was ever highlighted. And then suddenly, you're, you're, you're going and heaping this uh, as allegations uh, are, are, I can only say they're absolutely bald allegations. See, one thing, uh, during the project implementation time, have you met Chandra Babu Naidu any time? Of course. Of course, he was a, I, the protocol demanded that if the chief minister is, in, is involved, the managing director has to go. That's the protocol of the company. And, and of course I have met, but I have met also other, other states' chief ministers. And yes, and, and, and we have had uh, discussions, we have had discussions on the vision of the state, what he wanted to achieve. Uh, he explained why, why he wanted to have the blue collar and the rust collar workforce included because Andhra Pradesh was not an industrial state and the building the industrial infrastructure required uh, soft power to be built, which is through the training of people. And uh, that, that's what we did. Yes, of course I met. So have you find any, uh, during implementation time, this project, uh, this some companies are giving some bogus uh, and some companies are taking advantage to get some money like that? Not, not in my uh, understanding. Not in my understanding. Because we were so focused on the results. Uh, everything that was done was measured to results. It was like a project management typically happens. Results, time, you know, the old RACI chart. And we had, we had uh, multiples of team members involved in this project, and uh, we had a governance team, governance coming call, etc. No, never. Mr. Bose is the only uh, centric point to, to uh, discuss with these uh, shell companies and other companies and uh, do everything for this entire the scam. Is that what your uh, answer in this, for this, uh, all these uh, CID saying th something? So saying and proving is different. Uh, I have, as I said, I, I'm, I'm always saying, uh, I, have a, I have a tremendous trust on the, on the judicial system. And somebody has to prove, if they say something, they have to prove it. And uh, as a leader, I cannot shirk off my responsibility of not being with people. And with such an important project, as a leader, I have done my job. If I get an opportunity again, I will do it again exactly the same. And I've done it for other states exactly the same way. I have been involved. I, my leadership style has been to lead from the front. And I'm proud of my leadership style. B because somebody is throwing mud at me, I, I hope there will be rain someday and the mud will get washed off. <laughs> I can only say this, sir. So 371 crores are a completely scam. This is what government of Andhra Pradesh is investigating. What do you say? No. Absolutely not. It was all well-used money of the taxpayer. And the proof of the pudding is in the eating. Please go and see the centers. Please go and talk to the 2 like 13,000 students who have got trained. Uh, talk to them what, they, what the jobs they're doing. Talk to them also today what difficulties they're facing because suddenly their government is disowning their project. And is absolutely wrong. Uh, is, uh, what do you say about shell companies? The CAD completely saying that there are shell companies, there are uh, receipts and everything. What do you want to say? So the direct projects, the direct project, we, were, we are involved with the delivery of the project. The project has been delivered. There, there were no shell companies. And, and I, I don't know what is it. Very, very honestly, there is a definition of shell company. People use definition of shell company. Uh, but the Ministry of Commerce still doesn't have a definition of shell company. So my question is, companies which have employees, which are paying salaries, which are de developing products, which are delivering services, how can they be shell companies? They're not shell companies. 
So by that logic, because there's no definition of soft, soft shell companies, I can't go for the detail. But my, my, I would take this question, are they real companies or are they fake companies? They're real companies, doing real work, having had real employees. So uh, wh where is the shell part of it? So why you suddenly get down from your post and uh, uh, resign to the company? What was happened? It is a they're very personal. It was a personal reason. You know, I was I was, I had a very long, very successful, thank God, very successful corporate career across the world, and uh, I was going to turn 50. In 2016, I resigned. The company accepted the resignation, but then they requested, uh, and I told them that I'm not resigning to go and join a competition or etc. I'm going to pretty much go and do something on my own. I wanted to get into social entrepreneurship. Uh, and uh, work in generating employment, et cetera, et cetera. I had a vision of, for myself, for my rest of my life. Uh, so I decided to part ways with the company and I part at the highest point of my, uh, you know, with, with, with what I was doing with Siemens. The company requested me to continue uh, donning my role till they find a suitable structure, uh, handovers, et cetera, et cetera. I stayed for more than one and a half years thereafter, one and a half years after my resignation was accepted, and I diligently did my job. Finally, when every, every piece of puzzle was in place, I requested and I left. Uh, that, that's it. So there has been, uh, it was a very personal decision to leave and uh, do something of my own. So you're observing the entire thing. What do you say, final words? Me and my family is extremely stressed. We are being hauled through the coals. Uh, I hope someday, uh, Rain will fall. Uh, uh, God has been kind. Uh, we still are all alive. We may not be uh, physically very good, uh, but we are still alive. I believe that justice will prevail. And I also believe that the students who have been educated in these centers deserve to be applauded. They're honest people who are doing honest jobs. Don't discredit them because of whatever be the reason. Thank you, sir. Thank, Thank you, sir. you very much. Thank 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 you very Twarlone, Nijala ne bite bartai, court duara, anni vishalu bite kara botunai, evaita aropon la chestuna, CID wipe ninchani, investigation agencies wipe ninchani, aropon la nitiki, vastavalu, patralu, vatito partu, nijal koda bite kara al snatunda, avasramundi, evaita aropon la chestuna, vatikuna twenty, adara lenti, ane vishal koda, bite petal snatunda, avashakatunanedi, anavi prepartuna. Cameraman Jorsingto, Arun Kumar, ETV News, New Delhi.